Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to hook a contactor to a thermostat just like your household thermostat or one like this. Any household thermostat will work just fine with this contactor. So right here, I have a contactor right here. And see these two little wires coming out of the side here? This guy and this guy. That hooks to that receptacle acting like a switch. Now a contactor is just another type of relay that's meant to run on 240 volts. Like in my case, this was on a 40 amp breaker in the AC unit. So there was 40 amps passing through this contactor powering both the fan and the compressor up. And a compressor in most AC units is a big load. So this these guys can handle a huge amount of current and amps. Now this enables you to hook up a household fan through a thermostat. Like if you ever wondered how you could hook a thermostat up to a household fan, this is one way you could do it. This is one way you could do it. Another way is you get a tiny relay, which I think it's kind of dumb because if you're going to put a huge load on it, I would preferably rather go with this. I would recommend going with the contactor because it's kind of the same thing as a tiny relay. You hook a 24 volt power supply up to it, but this enables you to have a bigger load on it. So you can hook a a bigger load such as multiple house fans on one contactor excuse me but yeah and here's a thermostat turn that on and turn this power strip on and there you go it clicked on by itself that was from this thermostat and that contactor so what basically happens is the thermostat relay in there will kick on. It'll kick on and transfer that 24 volts. In my case, I have 15 volts. You could get old pair of Harman Kardon computer speakers. Most of them will use a 15 volt AC, not DC, AC adapter. And that's enough power and amps to kick this guy on and enough power to run the thermostat itself. There is some thermostats like this guy here that are self-powered. You could go, go get away with a battery powered thermostat, but you could usually go to Home Depot and get a thermostat for cheap or the Goodwill. In my case, I got this guy for pretty cheap at the Goodwill. It was used, but it still works. Now you can't hook 120 volts through a thermostat because you'll fry the relays in there. It's meant for 24 volt current or less. So just enough to power this guy up. Now traditionally, you would hook the thermostat up to a contactor for your outdoor unit. Your air handler does not use a contactor because there's already a board up in your air handler that has little tiny relays. This would be on your outdoor unit powering both the fan and your compressor up. And don't worry, don't be afraid to do this. This is actually easier instead of going out onto some other website and getting a tiny relay. You could get these for pretty cheap or go to the scrapyard and scrap one of these out of an AC unit. So yeah, and I'll kick the stern cell. And by the way, I hooked up this light to demonstrate to you and the AC unit that I have up in here using microwave fans. 120 volts will hurt this. This is on 15 amps instead of 40 amps. These contactors will do just fine with anything. Now, I'm going to turn this off to show you the coil. Just to be safe, always unplug it. Now right here, that's your contactor. Now there's a coil on the bottom. Most newer contactors have the coil covered up. But this coil is out in the open. So, 
See this purple wire right here? That's your positive. I would remember this like this. I remember how to wire it up. Just the way how I have it. The sticker that faces the left side. These contacts where the stickers at always is negative. And the plain side is your positive side of the coil. To make this plunge up and down. It's basically a magnet that will plunge this little contact down to make to close your circuit. And that's how these work in a real AC unit. That's exactly how they work. This is how you would set it up. Except this is a this is a single pole. They make double pole, they make triple pole. I would go with a single pole. Just for a basic load. If you want to go with a double pole, you can even hook more and more and more fans up to this. And if a triple pole, you can probably hook up up to like 10 fans on these contactors. Or probably even more, probably more like 20 fans. Just make sure you have a 20 amp, 120 volt circuit because it'll trip your breaker. So if, so if you want to hook a household fan up to a thermostat, this is one way. And this is the easy way. And you could hook a, a bigger fan on this, and your thermostat will automatically click it on and off without hurting anything. Just remember, you need a separate power supply for this and the thermostat together. If you're going to have a thermostat self-powered as well, like I do. So I'm going to take this thermostat apart. If the camera can focus. I marked it by color. Why is nothing on here? I didn't hook the compressor up. But traditionally this contactor would be hooked on that Y terminal. So here's my hot coming into the thermostat. 24 volts AC or 15 volts AC. Whatever power supply you're using. That's alternating current only. So here's your common. Your C is the common common terminal to power the thermostat up itself and then here's your G terminal which is switch to power up this contactor now I have it hooked up to this box right here my power supply that I made back in January if you haven't seen that video and then I just have 120 volts going through that outlet back to the power strip just to power this receptacle up and then I have two wires coming off the hot side of the outlet which is switched off of this contactor and your ground, your neutral wire would stay just the way I'd be I hope this video was helpful to you guys to how to hook up a household fan to a thermostat and subscribe to me